Pima Maricopa structures. Over the last two decades, I have been invited to exhibitions held at museums in the West. As I attended these exhibitions over the years, I noticed that most of the work was romantic, very romantic about Native Americans, about the founding of the West. I find nothing terribly wrong with these images. However, when I first visited a reservation out in the Phoenix area, I was awestruck. I was awestruck by the poverty. I was awestruck by, by these spaces. So the Maricopa structures are in the Phoenix area. They're on the Native American reservation. My friend Michael had taken me out there on an excursion. It just so reminded me of my own hometown, a lot of the structures there in the south. And I said to him, this is what I shall paint. These spaces seem to be hidden from view. They were not included in the Western canon, and yet they existed in the modern world. And so I started to do, to do a series of paintings of structures in the West that were occupied by Native Americans in the modern day world. They have not been well received in the West as I had expected, because I think they are linked to too much pain, too much hidden history, uh, when you think about the West and how it was won, it was brutal. It was not very romantic, but yet, through the images of Hollywood, people have fell in love with these ideas and these romantic notions of the West. So what I wanted to do was to bring a more modern conversation through some of the spaces in which they occupied. Living below means, there was so much pain I could see in those spaces, but at the same time, I also saw resilience and hope and despair all mixed into one and also a sense of pride. It was a very interesting haunting place, very much like the South. The spaces reminded me so much of the South.